before you do any type of work to your outside unit, you always want to make sure that you cut the power. So most units have like a little exterior breaker box. If you look underneath here, here's the breaker. You need to make sure you flip it off and you kill the power because there's 240 volts running through this system. And if you start cleaning it off of the water hose, uh, you could potentially uh, electrocute yourself. So just make sure that you turn that power off before you do any type of work on an AC unit. All right, for the outside unit, uh, before I wash it down, I'm gonna use this brush, and brush up, and you can see all the dirt coming off of there. The dust. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it, try to brush it with the dry brush first, and then get as much debris off as possible, and then uh, come back with a cleaner, and then Try to straighten some of these uh, pins out. Hose it down. Alright, so I'm spraying cleaner on the coils. All right, I'm gonna brush the areas I think is the most dirtiest with uh, this brush right here. Toilet brush, all right? The bristles are pretty stick, pretty uh, stiff on this. If you don't press too hard, it won't thin the fins. Anyways, I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna spray it down with some water and then maybe reclean it. Also, I found that the back end of this brush is a little more uh, stiff than the front end, and the back end actually helps straighten out the out the fins on the coils. You can kind of see this. If you don't press too hard, see that kind of straightens it out. It was was dented in, now it's not. So, anyways, uh, this actually worked out pretty good. See how it straightens out. The fins there. We do this all the way around. Make sure all the fins are straightened out as much as we can without having to buy a recombing tool. And uh, then we'll hose it off. I'm trying to get another view here. Yeah, this is a better view. See the view of this? Straightens them out. The reason why you want them straight is so airflow, or air can flow through these vents. Otherwise, you need airflow to make the air conditioner work. So that's why we're straightening out the fans. All right, next, I'm going to get a water hose and hose the side of the, uh, the fins of the condenser and use it down. If you have the top off like I do, go ahead and wash it from the inside out first. The dirt will wash out from the outside, and then you can clean it from the outside in. You'll want to 
have the water too high pressure because it'll potentially bend the fins. So make sure it's I mean this is still coming out pretty good. You just want to make sure you kind of work it along the fins and try to get all the dirt out. Do that all the way around. All right, I just put the sides back on. Basically, just put it back in and put the uh, the screws back in. Line everything back up all the way around. Inside's clean, and now we gotta run the wires to the fan. And we gotta run them in this hole right here before we put it back on. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'll show you once I get the fan on. Basically, we just run, I'm just going to run the wires through here. See this zip tie that had been cut? I probably zip tie it so the wires won't get pulled into the fan. And then um, bring them around the outside. Zip tie this mess together. Reattach it to the capacitor, which is right here. Before doing any type of work on your air conditioning unit, you want to make sure you cut the power. There's a power switch here, and there's a light switch, and there's also an AC switch. So if I flip this A switch to off, it turns the power to the unit off in the attic. So you want to make sure that the power is off in the attic before you start disassembling it or cleaning the coil or doing any type of work on it because you don't want to get electrocuted. Tell my air conditioning and furnace in the attic is laid out horizontally, and it's actually suspended from the rafters using these metal bands that come down and attach. So it's free floating in my attic. And you have the air from the air filter coming in. You have a blower, you have a furnace, and then you have the inside air conditioning coil. So what we're gonna do is talk about servicing the inside air conditioning coil today and how to get to it. Um, mine, my access point is at the top, right up here, and we'll show some additional pictures. We have to go in through the top, which is really easy to do. Some units, though, are actually vertical units, and some of them are located in the house or in the garage, where this is actually at the base, this is halfway up, and this is at the very top, and then you have the access panel right at the very front, so it's also easy for people to get to as well. So same type concept. Mine's just laid out horizontally, whereas others may be actually lifted up and vertical. All right, the cleaner's been sitting for a little while. I'm brushing it, and you got to brush with. I get a shot here with the fins because you don't want to damage the fins. The brush down, so the dirt will go down. Try to get all the dirt off of there. I'll just tool it um, at Lowe's. And just a bunch of little wire, kind of straighten them back out. Try to get some of the dirt off. It helps really at the top because the top will get bent up. And uh, this, if you, I found that if you start off kind of the center and kind of come up, it'll straighten the coils out. Like this one, for instance. So I kind of straightened it out a little bit over here.
All right, I got the lid back on, got all the screws screwed in, and around the seams here, over here and there, and around where the pot comes in, I'm gonna use uh, duct tape. Not the duct tape that you fix everything with, but a little bit different. It's a metal type tape that has a brown paper backing that's really sticky, so we're gonna put that all around. All right, the lid is taped up, so you want to make sure you get all the areas where air can escape because all the air ducts tie into this. And if there's any areas around the air ducts, like this right here, I'm going to throw some tape over that so uh, it doesn't leak any more air out. That tape looks like it's going to come undone. But just kind of tape up around the air ducts, too, because that's where you can lose some air.